happy video day guys Christina Brooke here so this is a video you guys actually suggested that I do and I'm actually pretty excited so I have asked you guys to give me different ideas things you wanted to see on the channel and I have notes so I wrote down a lot of your amazing ideas you guys you guys had some good ideas let me tell you but one of you actually suggested that I do my favorite products from different brands so I think that it was more like the five top products that I like from brands or something like that, but not in every brand do I like five products. So I'm going to do like my favorite products from different brands, but not really numbering them. You know what I'm saying? Like some of them might have three, might have eight, some might have five. In this video, there's actually five. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my top products from Rare Beauty. So I picked this brand first because this is the brand that I picked for one year, one brand. So I am picking up every new release from Rare Beauty and they haven't released that much this year like I thought they were going to. So it's kind of not been a very, um, like I'm not doing a video every month on them. I feel like it's been a little bit of a slow process, but I feel like a lot of makeup brands really slowed the pace this year. So it's not just them, I think it's most brands. But either way, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my favorite, my favorite, favorite products from Rare Beauty, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you are not subscribed though, don't forget to go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, we are on our way to 18,000, which I'm so, I'm so excited for. Um, yeah, so anyways, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit subscribe. And let's get into okay. it. So I don't think I'm gonna put this in order. Should I put this in order? Hmm, I don't know. But I am going to be sharing my favorite products. Now, Rare Beauty has a bunch of really good products and there is more products that I own from the brand, but they are not favorites. Like they're not like something that I feel like I need in my collection, so they are off to the side. These are products that I am just like, whoa, okay? I don't know if I could put this in order from my favorite. So I'm gonna just talk about these individually because they are all so, so good. But I guess in the lineup, the one that I would probably talk about first would be this one. So this is the Rare Beauty Foundation. So this one is called the Foundation. I don't know what it's called, but anyways, it's this one. This is so good. So I get it in the color 210N. I think it's a very good color, especially going into the winter for me. I think I may be a little too tan for it right now, but this is such a good foundation. Um, if you like serum foundations, you'll like this. Also, it does take a little while to blend out, so I'm not gonna say it's like flawless. Like, it, it has like little things. You gotta work with it. I know some people love it, some people don't love it, but I do feel like if you find the right way to put this on, it looks so nice on the skin. I actually like using my fingers to apply this. I also like using a sponge, but the fingers work so good for so much makeup. So like if you want a more natural makeup look, I really like applying foundation with the fingers <laughs> and also a very nicely moisturized face. But this product has been such a good foundation. I will say I have gotten some other foundations that have kind of taken its place lately that I have been really obsessed with, but in the lineup from Rare Beauty, this is definitely a winner. And yeah, more natural makeup, but it does definitely give you coverage. So definitely wouldn't say it's like a super natural, but it's definitely a light medium. And I really like this. Do you guys have this? Do you like this? I like it a lot. All right, so the next ones, these are like game changers. <laughs> so this one, the primer. Now, one thing I have to say about Rare Beauty, I love the casing, but like everything that I own is so dirty. <laughs> Because like my fingers, like I said, I like to put foundation on with my fingers. I even like to blend out concealer with my fingers and then I'll be grabbing these and I get like product all over them because of the color, like it's a lightish pink color. So I would definitely say if you love this brand, invest in makeup wipes to clean and keep your products pretty because yeah, they're constantly getting dirty on me. But I love this primer. This is the always the optimist primer. Okay. I'm not a huge primer girl, okay? So I've I've never been one to say like primers or game changers. Like there is primers that help to keep your makeup on longer and I do understand the purpose of primers, but usually when people say blurring primers, I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know? Some primers have done it for me, like the Tasha Silk Canvas I do think does do an effect. 
this one does an effect too, okay? So I do think that this does a nice blurring job. I actually have it on today. I'm going to see a play tonight, so I definitely wanted my makeup to stay on a little longer, and I wanted to try a little bit more blurring, you know, so I put it on. I love this, okay? So for not being a primer girl, look how much I've gone through, okay? So I got the free sample of this, and I went through it, and then I bought this one, which is like not the biggest size. I think this is like the medium size, and I've already been pumping this thing, and I hardly wear primer, so I really like this. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful primer. I also think if you have oily or dry skin, I think you could use it really easily because it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel oily on the skin. Like it literally just sinks into the skin. It's such a good primer. Super, super huge winner. Okay. If you guys are interested in anything we talk about today though, I will have everything linked down below. I always put a number up on the screen. If you guys see these numbers come up, it's just referring to the item down below. So I'll put a number next to it so it's easy for you to find it. I do that with my fashion videos. I wanna start incorporating it also with uh, my makeup videos. Make it easier for you guys to shop the links so you don't have to like be searching everywhere for the one that I'm talking about. But the next, the next one is this. So Rare Beauty has a really pretty concealer. So I really like this. This one here is called, why don't I know any of the names? So I get it also in 210N. I will say that this works as a really good concealer. Right now for me, it's also a good color because I do like to put a little lighter under the eyes, not too much lighter because I don't put very heavy makeup on, but I really love this, okay? So this is a lightweight concealer. If you have dark circles, you are gonna have to put a color corrector on, but I always put a color corrector on. You guys know I love my Bobbi Brown color corrector. I use it with every concealer, so it kinda helps me be able to use these kind of lightweight concealers because I love a lightweight concealer. I have more mature skin. I wouldn't say it's mature skin, but it's not 18-year-old skin. I've got those lines coming through and stuff, so I can't get away with wearing really thick concealers because I feel like it ages me. It makes me look older. So these lightweight, very liquidy concealers that kind of just like glide over the skin but don't go into the lines and they don't sit on top and make you look older, I love. And that's what this does. This has a very natural finish. It does cover, but it's not super heavy duty. I think it looks very beautiful. And when I use products like this one or even the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin, because I mix it in with moisturizer, I make it a little bit less heavy. I feel like I can't go ham with the concealer. It has to be a lighter concealer, something more natural, and it just looks a lot better. So this is a beautiful concealer for that, and I really like it. You know what I just realized? I've got six products instead of five. <laughs> Math, I guess it wasn't my forte in school, huh? So anyways, Rare Beauty's um, mascara. Okay, so this is a game changer mascara. I am not one to recommend high-end mascaras. I have said this on my channel so many times. I feel like the drugstore does such good mascara. L'Oreal Lash Paradise is phenomenal. You pay so much more money for mascara at Sephora, and I can't say like, oh my gosh, game changer. This one really is good, okay? So now this one is a different story. I have L'Oreal Lash Paradise sitting right there. Actually, I have a brand new one. I have not opened because I can't stop using this mascara. I love it. I have it on today. I think it does a beautiful job of lift. It gives you volume. It doesn't clump up the eyelashes. Um, I also sometimes, if I'm driving, if my eyes get watery, sometimes if the mascara goes in, I'll get like this like burny feeling depending on the mascara I use. This one doesn't do that. I've actually worn this in the ocean where the mascara obviously will come off because this, this one I have is not waterproof. I have to see if there is a waterproof one because I should get it as well. So when I go to the Keys, I have something that's not gonna go all over my face. But anyways, this one does get all over my face, but it goes in my eyes and it does not burn me, okay? So I love this. It lasts the whole day. It looks beautiful. It It's just a mascara from Sephora that I would highly recommend. And I will say it's a huge competitor to L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I have been using it so much that I would say at this point, I might like it more. <gasps> I know, that's really crazy. That's crazy, I said it out loud. But I really do, I think I might like it more. 
Okay, two new products, two amazing new products. Rare Beauty has this loose setting powder. Now I have it in light medium, which I love because it has like a little tint to it, right? So when I put this powder on, it mattifies my skin without making my fit skin look like dry and flaky. I think you guys all know those powders out there that everybody talks about. You put it on your skin and your skin looks 100. You know, it was supposed to make you look like, you know, stuck in place, but you put it on and you look like you aged. This does not age your skin. It literally mattifies that it looks amazing on camera. It looks great in photography. There's no flashback anymore. And it does like a little bit like a blurring effect. I don't know what Selena Gomez has done with Rare Beauty to make a lot of her products just look so good on skin, but I do feel like they do. So this is an amazing powder. It is the only loose setting powder that I will use. If I'm gonna use um, another powder, it would be my hourglass powder which I mix them all together and that one's also gorgeous for the skin but when it comes to loose setting powders when I want something to look good in photography I want to mattify the skin a little bit this is the only one I will use I also love the tint in here so because it is not translucent it actually has a tint to it it actually gives me a little bit more of a tan <laughs> so when I use this I get a tan look that's just like really flattering, right? And then when I put my tan, when I put my bronzer on top and I finish off the look, I feel like I just got a beautiful tan. I really love this product. This is absolutely stunning. If you have my skin tone, I'm like a light medium. This is gorgeous. I love this powder. And I do think it does a blurring effect. It really does. It has a beautiful blurring effect. And you should try it. I think you should try that one. That one's phenomenal. And I have to talk about one of my all-time favorite products that Rare Beauty has ever released. This is a game changer product and I will tell you I just fin finished buying the Charlotte Tilbury um, cream bronzer and it's good but I keep grabbing for this. This is the stick bronzer from um, Rare Beauty. This is so good. This is so blendable. This is so seamless. This is a cream bronzer that I can use daily and I do not break out. I have very sensitive skin. <laughs> I am acne prone. Like if I use sunblock on my face, I will have pimples. <laughs> you know, like I just, I have a hard time using products on my skin. My skin is very sensitive, so it does not like a lot of stuff. Things that clog the pores, it's just like, hey, no way. Usually cream products, give me a hard time. That's just the way it is. I wish it wasn't because I love the natural look of cream products, but a lot of cream products do clog my pores. This one I can use a lot. Like I will use this if I go to the beach, I put this on, okay? Because I want my skin to look like it's bronze already, right? So I'll put this on. It makes you look tan. Doesn't look like you have makeup on. It's just such a gorgeous product. I have it in the color Always Sunny. It's deep for my skin tone, but when you blend this out, it literally goes into the skin. I have it on today. So I... I wear this as much as I can, okay? I love this. Um, I've told you guys before, I double bronze, so this isn't the only bronzer I have on today. I also have the Charlotte Tilbury one on top of it, but it is just a beautiful bronze. You can do this one alone and it looks stunning, especially for, you know, if you're going somewhere that you don't wanna look too tan, that is, this is, this is, oh. This is so good. This is probably Rare Beauty's best product. I feel like it's a game changer on the market. I don't think that there's many brands that have such a good cream bronzer like this one. It is constantly sold out and for good reason. This is good, like super good. Like, and you get so much product. Like I told you guys, I've been using this nonstop. I've got a lot of product to use. This is gonna last me a while, so it's well worth the money. It blends amazing. I just think it's a game changer. So yeah, those are the top best products from Rare Beauty that I own. Like I said, I have other stuff. I have the cream blush and I also have, um, you know, some of those eye stuff that they released, not really into it. Um, I've kind of swatched around with her eyeshadows. None of them, to be honest, I have seen 
that I feel like are so great. We'll see what happens in the future, but these I think are her star lineup products. I think that these are the best from the brand. I will say also, she has that lip souffle formula that's absolutely stunning. She has a great formula with the lip souffles. However, the colors, there is not a color that I would say 100% is like a go-to for me. So even though the formula is outstanding, like she really has an outstanding formula, I don't know about the colors. I'm really interested in her lipsticks that she's gonna release. I'm, I think that this could be a really great brand in general. And I have to say, this is a lot of products to be good from a brand. This is a lot, okay? Usually brands will have for me like two or three products that I think are all stars, but to have six really good products, I think that's a huge accomplishment for a brand new brand. She's This brand has not been around for that long. I think it's been what, four years, three years? You guys correct me if I'm wrong. That's not a long time to have six all-star products. So. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know what brand you guys want me to do next and I'll share with you guys some of my top products from that brand. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.